So we will continue with amplifier power relations. In the last class we have seen three important things, incident power, input power and power available into the at the amplifier. So today we will start the next uh, important amplifier relation that is called as transducer power gain, GT, GT. So the transducer power gain is defined as power delivered to the load to the power available at amplifier. So that is the gain of the transducer. I'm right, this is the amplifier. So I have this, if you consider this as your amplifier system. So the power of gain of the amplifier will be nothing but output of the amplifier to the input that is available. So that is the transducer gain. So transducer gain is the power delivered to load to the power available at amplifier. We have just derived in our last session, we have seen how uh, we have derived the power available at amplifier. I have represented that we have derived it as half B S squared by 1 minus gamma S squared. So we have just taken that and what is the power that is delivered to the load? So what is the point? B2, we know B2 is the RMS voltage. So the power delivered to the load will be half B2 squared. But I said we cannot just add it, we will also consider the reflection coefficient gamma L. We will have to compute just like the input power, we will also have to compute the reflection coefficient gamma L. So it will be half B2 squared, that is the power that is available here, into 1 minus gamma L squared into 1 minus gamma L squared. If it is a perfectly matched condition, gamma L will go to 0. So which means it will be half B2 squared. So in a practical condition, the gain of the RF amplifier will be half B2 squared into 1 minus gamma L squared. For an ideal amplifier, gamma L will be 0. So the power available at the load will be only half B2 squared. Now let us compute what is B2 by Bs. Let us compute B2 by Bs using transfer function. So let us write this. So if I let me before I go to calculate B2 by Bs, let I let me rewrite this equation. Let's not call this as one. Gt Gt is equal to half B. This half and this half will cancel. So B2 squared one minus gamma L squared by B S squared into 1 minus gamma S squared. So let us call this as say 1. Now let us compute what is B2 by B S. The transfer function B2 by B S. So what is B2 by B S? This is B2 by B S. Alright. So if let us use Mason's rule to calculate B2 by B S. What is Mason's rule? Sigma PK del K by del. Sigma PK del K by del. So what is PK? Forward path. So let us say how many forward paths are there between B2 and BS. There is one forward path like this. There is one forward path. One, two, three. There is one forward path. We will see if there is any other forward path. Uh, this fellow is going like this, but this arrow is coming in this direction, so it's not a forward path. This fellow is no, because it's not coming in this direction, it's going up. So I think there's only one forward path. So P1 will be equal to, what is the gain of the forward path? Look at this fellow, this is 1, this is 1, yes, 2, 1. The gain of the forward path is, yes, 2, 1. Alright, so what is del K, del 1, what is del 1? Del 1 is the gain of any loop which is not touching the forward path. Del K is the gain of any loop which is not touching the forward path. So this is one loop we have, it is touching the forward path. This is another loop. Let me see, yeah, this is one loop. Look at this guy. No, it's not a loop at all because look at this, it's not forming a closed path. This is in the direction. Look at this guy. Yes, this is a loop but it is again touching the forward path. So there is no closed loop which is not touching the forward path. So del 1 is naturally 1. Del 1 is naturally 1. So what is del? Del is equal to 1 minus 1 minus gain of the individual loops. How many individual loops I have? This is one loop which I have. Am I right? See, it's forming a closed loop. So this is one thing, 1 minus gamma, I'm sorry, uh, let's call this as S11 gamma S. Plus, is this a closed loop? This is not a closed loop, right? One, no, this is not a closed loop. Look at this fellow. This fellow is a closed loop, right? So let's write this. So what is this fellow plus? 
gamma L S22. So this is your second fellow. And is there any other closed loop? This fellow is going like this, 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 this. See, this is a closed loop. Look at this guy. It is going like this, like this, like this, and this. So this fellow forms a closed loop. So what is the gain of this loop? I have S21 plus S21. It is going like this. I have gamma L. I'm sorry. Gamma L. It is going like this. Yes, one two. Yes, one two. It's going like this and gamma yes. Gamma yes. So this is the third loop. So I don't think there's any other individual loop. We have covered all the loops. Plus gain of any non-touching gain product of any two non-touching loops. See, I have this loop and this loop. Both are not touching. So we'll have to include that. What is that? Gamma s yes, s yes, one one. What is this? Gamma l s two two. So let's write b two by b s. What is b two by b s? B two by b s is equal to one. I'm sorry. P one del one. P one del one is s two one by one minus s one one gamma s. Plus gamma l s22 plus s21 s12 gamma l gamma s plus gamma s s11 gamma l s22. So let's simplify this. I'll have s21 by 1 minus. S11 gamma s minus gamma l s22 minus s21 s12 gamma l gamma s. All right, plus uh, plus plus gamma s gamma l. Let's write it like this. S11 s22 gamma l gamma s. Let's write it like that. All right. So this is your newly performed equation. So if we solve this, I can take S21 by 1 minus S11 gamma s. Let me take this outside. All right. So see gamma l S22 is common in both these equations. So I will take minus gamma l S22. If I take this outside from this equation, what will I get? I will get one. Am I right? Gamma L S22. If I take from this equation, I will get one. If I take it from this equation, what will I get? I will get minus because minus and minus only will become plus. So minus gamma L S22 has come outside. So I will have S11. And what else is? I am sorry. Gamma L S22 is taken. So I will have gamma S S11. Gamma S S11. And what else is left out? Minus S21. S12 gamma L gamma S. Let's clean this off. We don't need this anymore. So if you simplify this further, in both these things, these two terms are common. So take this outside. So I'll have S21 by 1 minus gamma S S11 into if you take both these, uh, this is common in both these fellows. So take this fellow outside. If I take this outside, I'll get one, right? One minus in here. If I, this fellow is outside, so I'll have one minus gamma l s two two minus s two one s one two gamma l gamma s. So this is nothing but your b two by b s. Now substitute. B2 by Bs in one. What will I get? If I substitute it here, what will I get? I'm going to substitute B2 by Bs here. So I'll have GT to be equal to B2 by Bs will become. Yes, two one squared. Am I right? So this is squared. This becomes squared by 
वन माइनस गामा एस एस वन वन इंटू वन माइनस गामा एल एस टू टू माइनस एस टू वन एस वन टू गामा एल गामा एस द होल स्क्वायर द होल स्क्वायर इंटू आई हैव दिस टू टर्म्स वन माइनस गामा एल स्क्वायर इंटू वन माइनस सॉरी यूनिलैटरल पावर गेन इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल स्टेप जी टू यू जी टी यू सी इन दिस फेलो वी हैव दिस टर्म यस वन टू वॉट इज यस वन टू यस वन टू इज द रिवर्स वॉट वी कॉल टेस आइसोलेशन लॉस so in a tra in an amplifier we cannot allow this s12 to happen am i right because s12 is what you have an amplifier like this this is s12 this is s12 am i right so this gain is s12 or we call it as an isolation lock if this is available in an amplifier then the system will become unstable so this fellow will try to make the system unstable so it is very important that we make s12 to go to zero so the unilateral power gain is nothing but we make s12 is equal to zero so if s12 is equal to zero in this equation what happens gtu will be nothing but s21 squared into 1 minus gamma l squared into 1 minus gamma s squared by 1 minus gamma s s11 squared Now let me put this in a modulus looks good that way 1 minus gamma s s11 squared 1 minus gamma l s22 squared so this is your what happens to this fellow this fellow will become zero so naturally this the square is i have put in on two individual fellows so this is your unilateral power gain all right 